Edward Centennial College is hosting the 16th annual Toronto Automotive Technology Competition. High school students from across the greater Toronto area are busting out their best auto tech skills and battling it out for a chance to compete in the National Automotive Technology Competition this spring in New York City. So which future team of technicians will reign supreme? Let's find out. What kind of issue do we have going on here? Is this a difficult task for these young future technicians? Well, I'd say it'd be pretty difficult because yeah. I remember back in high school, me doing the auto shop classes, yeah. I didn't learn half the stuff I see them doing. Mm -hmm. So I'd see it pretty difficult, but for me looking at it as a second year uh, student, I... Makes sense yeah, now. it's a lot easier for oh, me good. now. We have electrical diagnosis, we have all kinds of brake diagnosis, we have no starts where they have to figure out what's wrong with the vehicles and try to get it to start, all kinds of wiring, Yep. all, all different types all of stuff. Mixed bag of stuff. Mix, try to get everything in there so they're experienced with everything. You have to think of what the process is, so what goes to what, like A gives you B, B gives you C. And they, you both can't focus on the same thing because there's not enough time. You have to split it like, like she has her own strengths, I have my own, to split it in the middle so we can get it done quicker. You gotta come prepared and calm. Calm is yeah, a good relax. way to look at it probably because I would freak out. What was the most intimidating part of the whole competition? The time limit. We only had a certain amount of time to it was a crunch. do certain yeah. things. Yeah. All right, the competition has officially wrapped. Everyone's tired, but they're still eagerly sitting around waiting to find out who's going to New York City. So the first place team, team number 19, Michael Makut and Alex Morrison from Philip Pocock and their instructor, Jonas Lidium. Jonas, Alex, Michael, congratulations. That is a big, big trophy. How was the competition? Well, clearly it went really well. Yeah, it went um, pretty well. What was the toughest part of the competition for you guys today? There were a few problems with the cars where it wasn't clear right away, and we were so close to fixing them. Like one, I had to pull carpet back. If I pulled it two more inches, I would have found it, but I spent like 20 minutes trying to find this problem. It was just really little stuff. The on-car stuff yeah. was the hardest, yeah. for yeah. sure. And, and what was, how did you sort through that? Just keep uh, trying to find, figure out what's wrong. Jonas, if you had any advice for sort of the next generation of auto technicians coming up, what, what would you say? Um, well, for, um, one thing for sure about auto technology that is evolving so fast with the electronic system and um, what I would ask people to focus is just keep on learning. What do you want to get out of that experience? What would you want to get from a college experience in automotive technology? I think the, the diagnostics would be very good, like real life experiences. Yeah, with the, with the college you're really learning how to diagnose. If anybody can replace parts and not, like uh, Michael and I can replace stuff no problem. It's just the diagnosis that we really have to work on and learn. Guys, congratulations. Thank uh, you so much. Have a great trip to New York. That's awesome. Thank you. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you. For more information on Centennial School of Transportation programs, head over to our website at centennialcollege.ca and make sure to follow us on Twitter at Centennial Today and on Instagram at Centennial College.